and 12 meters apart and the weather is like uh, uh, minus 20, 22 so it's uh, less chance that it will freeze and we can use it uh, to, to find another we also thought about finding another spot for building a runway but this season is just a lot of uh, cracks, open water and it's uh, not uh, possible to find a good ice in the area, uh, like close enough so the bulldozers can go there. And to make uh, another drop from Murmansk, it will take lots of time. And with this weather, it's uh, optimistically can be finished uh, around April 23rd, 25th. So uh, there is no no way. Um, no reason to continue with this because after that the weather will get even more worse in May, like in, usually in May, lots of wind, lots of uh, foggy weather. Um, so, <coughs> so yes, this season, this year is finished. Uh, general rule that anybody who uh, wants a refund, it's uh, no question, 100%. Uh, now we will answer your questions. <laughs> Very good. Where is vodka? Yeah. <laughs> Any chance of a rollover? What are the other options? Other the, other, the other rollover for the next year? Uh, first, we will need to finish with this season because there is still people on the ice that need to be evacuated. Uh, so it's helicopter pilots, uh, uh, paratroopers that uh, build the runway. So first of all, we will finish with the, this season and we will get to planning the next. And we will inform you all usually in the emails. So you will know for sure. Is a paratrooping training you can go in the next year? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's not is that, that serious. That yeah, yeah, I understand, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's it. Good question. I thought about whether we should be learning a parachute or not. Yeah, it was a joke. Not a bad idea, though. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, maybe just to, to add something, that uh, Transglobal Expedition Car Expedition is uh, going through uh, North Pole now. They reach uh, Borneo, they reach North Pole, and this also reported that there is a lot of open water uh, from the Canadian side. So all the... Uh, all the area around the North Pole is uh, kind of cracked and uh, a lot of open water. So this season is just like that. So also, uh, as soon as there will be any pictures from the ice, we will also provide them so we can see the situation up there. Is it peculiar to this season or do you anticipate this happening because of the global warming? Uh, I'm not sure about global warming, but maybe the changes in the weather, and probably you know this year is a El Nino year, and the weather all around the globe is acting weird. So right, it's almost summer here, summer weather, and St. Petersburg, it's one day it's uh, plus 20, the next day it's minus 10, so it's uh, probably just uh, bad luck. So you said the runway is uh, 20 meters apart now? I mean, it At broke... 12, 12 meters, it went apart for 12 meters, uh, and the part that's left, it's uh, 600 meters. Oh. And it's impossible to continue it. Uh, usually we've uh, done it, and as you know, we, uh, like, especially uh, uh, the people who went on the first, should, should went on the first flight, you know that uh, it already cracked several times, so the first runway cracked, we, they found uh, another place to build the runway near like about maybe 900 meters from it. So they moved there, built a new runway. It's uh, cracked and now it's uh, completely down, shattered and it's went, went apart. Great. Yeah. Do you have a picture? Just your speaking. The pardon? Do you have a picture? If you, if you speaking, 
So he's asking me about the picture, about the ice cracks and all. Yes, as, uh, as soon as, uh, first of all, to get the picture from the ice, uh, people need to be evacuated from the ice who have the pictures. Uh, tomorrow, probably, there will be uh, another fuel uh, drop flight uh, from the Murmansk illusion, so probably they will take picture from the plane. I hope so, we asked for it, and if it will be, we will provide it, of course. I'd just like to say thank you, I think, from the North Pole Marathon team and probably the others for all the efforts that you put in. And can you pass on our thanks to the people who are on the ice? Because I think they're putting in a big effort. They wanted to try and make this happen for us. And I know it's probably as devastating for you as it is. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mar yeah. Just a, a, a little bit, Margarita will add something and... Uh... No, I just uh, would like... Um, yeah, my name is Margarita Kinska, probably most of people know me. I'm executive director of Barneo C. Barneo C is in charge of building runway, set up the camp and make the lifestyle for you guys. And we, we, we prepared everything, everything ready. Um, but this, you know, I work for this company um, more than 15 years. And uh, the first time we couldn't, eat, I mean, build. I mean, we built the runway, broken, and then crashed, and then we built again. So uh, from the beginning, um, we un understood that it will be tough season. I mean, tough um, building the runway. I mean, a little bit difficult because from the beginning the weather was uh, really terrible. From the moment when they jumped, it was already um, uh, windy, minus 40. They found they, they they wait first of all they wait for uh, uh, they wait for uh, for the good weather to start search their piece of ice. Finally, they wait like uh, probably the day it was good for uh, for fly by helicopter, and then they look around and it wasn't nothing. Look, I mean it was not many choices because everything was not working for runway. And they found it, and uh, it was look like everything is, uh, uh, first of all, how do we call it? Packed, packed ice? Multi packed ice. Packed. Yeah, yes, packed ice, which is usually perfect for runway because it's a difficult, I mean, it takes uh, um, more time to build the runway, but it's uh, more stable because it's uh, so fat and it's old and it's good. So, um, but during the, all these all these uh, days, it's uh, changing changing weather condition many times during the day. It's all it's, it's all uh, the, it was all depends uh, all, all um, um, was. Um, yeah, it didn't help. Yeah, didn't didn't help to. Uh, the, like uh, it was uh, like a windy day, and we see okay, uh, it's a stable or not stable. And then it's another day, and then <coughs> in the morning they call and they say, oh Margarita, no way to fly today. It's uh, some little damages. We need to prepare, fix it. Not big one, but we, we will do it during the day. So tomorrow is okay. Okay, tomorrow is okay. Tomorrow in the morning, then it's a uh, bad weather on the Cape Baran run. So it's a uh, it's a uh, if if I compare the whole years, okay, the um, uh, last uh, years, previous years, we worked from Bulgaria. So, but uh, last year we did the pilot project, and we ran the project for whole months, and the weather was totally different. It's uh, many many days, sunny days. It's uh, it, it, and it's everything stable, Baranova, Barneo, Baranova, Barneo, everything is okay. So this year it's uh, just. Bad luck, I don't know. It's the first time that our company couldn't set up the camp, the runway, because um, we cannot fight with the weather. <laughs> this is our, you know, we are, it's impossible. So, uh, we, we are planning Barneo again. Uh, we would like, um, I hope we trust us and come back to Russia and uh, work with us. Um, we are open and, uh, Hope that, that your time in Russia, you had a good time, and uh, hope to see you again. And, um, I had another time. I, 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 I
possible way to operate and of course we would like to continue operate the uh, longer yes. beam if it will be possible or even partially as we discussed we will use this opportunity of course but uh, we cannot predict what they will yeah, give us you, and then uh, my other question is do you think there's an opportunity to rethink how the logistics are done um, to be able to maybe shuttle a relay with smaller planes versus having so that you can use a smaller runway versus a bigger runway. Like, I think if it's out of Russia, maybe there's an opportunity to use like EC3 Basslers with refueling stops. It's a will be completely different logistic, of course. Which is, but I mean, I just I'm which so is skeptical of close to the impossible landing. There, do you remember 2019 when we tried to uh, yeah, no, and, and we used Boston? Yeah. So it, it didn't work. But that was, that was from longer than a little Still, there are different uh, characteristics for the planes. So for the Bustlers, I mean, but, but one thing is so like maybe all the gear gets air dropped in and it's just passengers. You know? Like I'm just saying, there's some. There's some yeah. I would just encourage. I just find it less likely that a thousand meters of good ice is going to be around. That's a multi-year ice less than over time. Anyway, just We'll try and we'll see the next yeah. year. And we will definitely look for the all possibilities that will be available to us. Yeah. Sure. Okay, thank you. Thank you for answering the questions. <laughs> In terms of people coming back next year, um, people that were here this year will have first priority for next year? Sure, of course. It's, yeah. uh, it's not uh, under discussion. Yeah. As uh, some of you might know, some people are waiting for 2019. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yes, we will yeah. always roll you over to the next season. And I hope the, the next season. <laughs> Will be the season will you reach the North Pole. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> now we appreciate your efforts, and uh, it's it's a huge logistics. You have uh, uh, it's an ambitious project that you have taken on. I mean, like really appreciate that. Thank you. We appreciate your patience and your trust, and uh, that you take the opportunity came here uh, to Russia to start it with this route. Yeah, thank you. It is what it is, guys, and again, we appreciate it. You probably have as much disappointment as us uh, on, uh, in terms of the outcome, but the fact that the spirit in the room is as high as it is, I, I think, says as much about the quality of the people here and what we represent to us for the support of this event. So, thank you for being who you are, and I can't wait to see you next year. Thank you. Thank you. So, for, for you, for True Pole Explorers. Yeah. <laughs> thank you.
See you next week. <laughs>